Argentinian crypto scammers used unknown actors to dupe an entire city. Argentina. Scam. Internet sleuths think key actress advertised her acting services on Fiverr for prices starting at $10. Last updated. October 9th, 2024, at 02,30GMT plus 3. Author. Tim Alper. Author. Tim Alper. About author. Tim Alper is a British journalist and features writer who has worked at Cryptonews.com since 2018. He has written for media outlets such as the BBC, The Guardian, and Chosen Ilbo. He has also worked. Author profile. Share. Copied. Last updated. October 9, 2024, at 02,30GMT plus 3. Why trust Cryptonews? With over a decade of crypto coverage, Cryptonews delivers authoritative insights you can rely on. Our veteran team of journalists and analysts combines in-depth market knowledge with hands-on testing of blockchain technologies. We maintain strict editorial standards, ensuring factual accuracy and impartial reporting on both established cryptocurrencies and emerging projects. Our long-standing presence in the industry and commitment to quality journalism make Cryptonews a trusted source in the dynamic world of digital assets. Read more about Cryptonews. Argentinian lawyers say that up to 20,000 people in San Pedro, Buenos Aires, have invested their money in a USDT-themed, bogus crypto project, promoted by little-known actors. The lawyers say they represent some of the platform's victims. They claim masterminds promised to double investors' stake money in six weeks. Argentinian crypto pyramid promised daily returns of up to 2%. They claim the platform operators offered some investors daily returns of between 1% and 2%, paid in U.S. dollars. The San Pedro-based lawyer Adolfo Erdare claimed at least 50 victims were set to file official complaints against a firm named Knight Consortium. Per Ambito, Erdare said that many of the city's residents had invested all their savings in the crypto exchange. Their number includes several retirees, he added. Some people have not been able to withdraw money from the platform for three weeks. And because they have not been able to do so, they are worried. And that worry has now turned into fear. Lawyer Adolfo Erdare, Pagina 12, reported that the consortium said it was operating a crypto platform and token called Rainbow X. Firm unregistered. Lawyers claim. The consortium claims to be a foundation comprising a group of shareholders. The group supposedly operates in the stock market and attracts retail investors from around the world. The media outlet noted, however, this firm is not registered and does not have any legal endorsement or even legal support. Media outlets said the first lawsuits would reach the courts around Thursday and Friday of this week. The media outlets said the platform began to gain popularity in the city four years ago. Initially, word of its existence first spread by word of mouth, and later it went viral. The lawyer said that the case was now dividing San Pedro. Some residents appear to be clinging on to the hope that the platform is indeed legitimate. He added that the investigation into the consortium had just begun. But he accused two men who fronted the consortium at San Pedro events of being Polish actors impersonating CEOs. Social media users familiar with the Argentinian crypto scene echoed similar claims. A video circulating on X appears to show two of the supposed CEOs acting in TV dramas. Investors say they were also given investing tips from an Asian woman who goes by the alias La China, the Chinese woman. The lawyers said they wanted to find who had hired these actors to speak at events in San Pedro. They urged citizens, if you have taken financial advice from these people, take immediate action to protect your savings. La China's tips brought San Pedro to a standstill. Media outlets explained that San Pedro investors would follow La China's Telegram channel. Residents waited eagerly for her nightly tips about when to buy or sell cryptocurrencies. They said the wait for La China's tips regularly brought activity in San Pedro to a standstill. On X, the programmer Maximiliano Fertman commented that the consortium had duped an entire city into believing they were the wolf of Wall Street. The media outlets added that one of the CEOs who spoke at a consortium organized event was a Polish actor named Morisi Lixko. They added that Lixko had confirmed he was hired by an Asian person. This person reportedly paid Lixko $1,500 for his performance 
at a San Pedro hotel conference room. Some TV news pundits have speculated that La China may not even be a real person. They claimed that she may have been created using AI tools. However, internet sleuths appear to have tracked down an Indonesian woman bearing an incredible resemblance to La China, advertising her acting services on the Fiverr platform. Perfil quoted an investor named Mariano as explaining, A friend got me involved in the project in March. He promised me payments in dollars. And he told me that in 45 days I would receive my initial investment back, and that I would then be allowed to keep the profits. The investor said his friend promised to convert fiat pesos to USDT. The friend said they would buy currency through the Rainbow X exchange. Follow us on Google News.